Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweat and I tutorial in this tutorial I'll be showing you my best mixer brush tool settings for frequency separation and how you can easily retain and keep the original and natural looking skin texture in your images. If I told you I've been editing and you end up with a plastic looking image regarding the skin texture. So this is the best tutorial for you. So simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you haven't done the tool. So either do both or just like this video if I told you I've already subscribed. So with that, you first of all want to understand what frequency sep separation is all about. Frequency separation divides the image into the high frequency layer and the low frequency layer. In the high frequency layer we have the textures and in the low frequency layer we have the colors. So we are just going to come and separate the, this image into the colors and the textures by pressing Ctrl or you can use Command J twice to create those two layers. And I have a reason as to why I'm starting from this point because this is the most important step when it comes to retaining the best results and achieving the best results using frequency separation. So simply double click right here and simply name this to low frequency. So you can name it color and you can double click here as well to rename this to texture. Or you can name it as a high frequency layer. So after doing that, we just want to come and do the most important step when it comes to frequency separation which is extracting the colors so just come and select the low frequency and simply come to filter blur come to gaussian blur right there so if i told you have the action it usually stops at this point when you have to determine the amount of skin textures that you want to remain within the final retouched image so for my case i'm just going to take the radius up to the point when the prominent details within the skin are just starting to disappear so this is the case point for this image. So just blur, just like that. You left click and drag up to the point when you're just starting to lose out on the skin textures within your image. So I'll take it to around 7. That is when I'm just starting to lose out on the details. Basically, you stop at the point when you're just starting to lose out on the details within the skin and simply hit OK. And after doing that, you can notice that the image is looking a little bit blurry. Just come the high frequency layer and now activate it. And after activating it, simply come to image and come down to apply image. So in this layer, we only want to remain with the textures. Select the low frequency layer and change the blend mode. So I'm using an 8-bit image. For an 8-bit, it's going to be subtract. The scale is to offset 128. Opacity at 100%. Preserve transparency and mask and unchecked. And make sure invert is not turned on. And you see the textures on this gray layer. Then if I told you using a 16 bit, if I told you have 16 right here, simply use the blend mode of add and simply turn on the invert option. The scale has to be to offset zero and opacity 100%, preserve transparency and mask and check and you have the same result. So I'll simply turn this off and I'll change or revert it to 8 bit and hit OK. Change the blend mode from normal to linear light right here and you'll have back the image that it was meant to be. So I'll put these two in a group and press Ctrl G on the keyboard and you can rename this to frequency separation yeah frequency separation so we are, we are now done separating the frequencies of this image and you are going to head into learning the mixer brush and the best settings and how to apply it so the mixer brush is a tool that is going to help us blend and even skin tone transitions let me first of all demonstrate for you what we are going to be doing and what you have to blend before we go into the settings. So I'll simply create an empty layer for purposes of demonstration. And I'll simply come right here and choose any bright random color. So you can notice that if I get my brush right here, I just increase the hardness. So if at all you look at this very image, you can see the areas that we want to blend. Remember, we just want to even the skin tone is using the Mr. Brush tool. You can notice that these areas, this area right here, has an even skin tone transitions. And we have to mix and blend that. And you can see that we have a dark area in this spot, meaning we have to mix this dark area to be part of the mid-tones that are prominent within that area. Then also, we have some other random colors right here. So we have to mix and blend those colors so that we can have a smooth transition. And where this area is transitioning from, the bright color to the dark color just come and mix that area to create a harmony within that color 
Then as you're applying the mixer brush tool later on, you have to apply it in the direction of the way a given area is shaped. So I'll just turn that off and create another layer for you. So if I told you applying the mixer brush tool, this is the right way to do it or the direction in which you have to move the mixer brush tool. So when it comes to the step of applying the mixer brush tool, we have to apply it in the way a given area shape. So if at all this forehead area is moving in this direction, you can see it is moving in this direction. So always as we're moving the mixer brush tool, we have to keep and maintain this same direction. And when it comes to this area, we can't mix in this direction. We have to mix and follow that eyebrow just like that. That is the direction we have to move. And when it comes to the cheek area, we have to follow this direction. The reason for it is because we want to maintain the original shape of the face of a model. So it comes to this area, you mix in this direction just like that. So that is how to apply or the right direction to apply the Mr. Brush tool when you're trying to edit or apply it to mix and blend the skin tones. So right now we're going to go straight into the right steps for applying the Mr. Brush tool and the settings. So this is more of a practical step. So just come and hide the high frequency layer. The reason for hiding it is because right now we just want to see the uneven skin tone transitions as I have just demonstrated for you. So just come to the low frequency layer now select it and come under the brushes. You can find the mixer brush tool under the brushes or you can find the mixer brush tool below here. So that is my mixer brush tool. And right now we just want to apply the mixer brush tool and set it. So to set the mixer brush tool, simply find the settings for the mixer brush tool above here and just come and click right here. You can see that we have the hardness. Make sure the brush is as soft as possible with hardness of 0%. Then also make sure it is a clean brush right there. Then we have two options. One which says load the br brush after each and every stroke. And the second is clean the brush after each and every stroke. So just want to use this option because as we are dealing with different colors on the skin, we don't want to drag a bright color, for example, from this area and put it in a dark area. We want Photoshop to automatically clean the brush for us as you're trying to edit and go through the mixing process on the skin. So the weight we're going to be using is 9% because as we're mixing, we don't want the brush to spill color to other areas. It's more like when you're mopping and the rug you're using to or the mopper you're using is so wet. It means it's going to be spilling water to other areas. We just want to keep the brush as dry as possible. So 9 is fine. You're going to keep the other settings at the default, which is 75% the load, mix at 90 and the 100%. Make sure sample always is not turned on. So after doing that and ensuring that, you can as well work with the texture layer turned on, but for purposes of having the most accurate results, simply turn it off. And now you can see the uneven skin tone transitions better. So after setting up the, the mixer brush tool, you can increase on the size of the mixer brush tool by using the open and close brackets on the keyboard. Then if I told you mixer brush tool is showing a plus icon, simply press the caps lock key on the keyboard to activate that. So as you're applying the mixer brush tool, we always want to retouch at a distance because when you retouch at a distance, you are going to be seeing the uneven skin tone transitions in the image and it is also going to help you retouch better and faster. So how to apply the mixer brush tool, we have to follow the direction like I demonstrated for you. So when it comes to the forehead area, how to apply the mixer brush tool, you simply left click and hold down if at all you don't have a retouching tablet, you left click on the mouse or on the touchpad and hold down and you move the mixer brush tool in the direction of that area just like that. So we are following the arrows that we drew late, uh, at the start of this tutorial. You can see that right now, the dark area that was existing here has been blended into the majority of the colors that were existing around it. So when it comes to this area, like I said, mix in this direction, just like that to blend it. You can see that the image is now looking a little bit plastic, but that is the important thing because we have hidden the texture layer right here and you're working or dealing with the colors alone. 
So when it comes to where these colors are transitioning from one to another, reduce on the size by using the left bracket on the keyboard and you click and mix that boundary to create a nice and smooth transition. So just mix that area just like that. And when it comes to this other highlight area, mix and remain. So the size of the brush has to remain within the color range of a given area that, that you're trying to work on just like that. And you can see now the face is really better and the skin tones have been transitioned quite well. So when you come and turn on the texture layer, you can notice that, it, that the textures are initially still part of the image. So when you come and turn this on and off, you can see that we have blended the colors alone while still maintaining the textures in the image. So we still come and turn this off. And when it comes to the cheek area, mix just like that. in that direction mix this dark area alone to blend it better and come this other side and also mix this other area just like that so you keep on working on every area that has skin and you remain within the colors and keep the direction precise to keep and maintain the original skin or the original shape of the model's face that you're working on so when I come and I turn on the texture layer, you can say before, after, before, after. So you can proceed and continue working on the nose area. You can turn this off and the nose is moving from up to down. So mix the dark area of the nose just like that alone. And blend it. And mix right here alone. Mix the highlight alone. And come this other side and also continue working. So this is how to best use and apply. So mix every area that has skin. And you are going to end up with perfect results by the end of uh, the process. So this is it for this video. If I told you I've learned a thing or two, simply like this video. And don't forget to subscribe if I told you I've been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you need more tutorials on this channel. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.